Assembly Hall will be rowdy Wednesday night for the Duke game, but does Indiana have a chance? We dive into the matchup and preview the Blue Devils on this edition of Cream v. Crimson. Welcome to Cream v. Crimson. Joining us today are two WIUX basketball broadcasters, Austin Render and Ben Ladner. Austin, you've been watching this team closely all season long. You called a couple games over Thanksgiving break. What's one key for Indiana as a team in this game in order to be successful against Duke? Easier said than done, but Indiana has to make shots. They did a great job against Eastern Michigan, kind of building some confidence for Josh Newkirk and for Robert Johnson. Those two both knocking down some threes. Saw Colin Hartman come in. Devontae Green hit some threes. So those guys have to hit some threes to stretch that 2-3 zone of Duke and try and make them respect Indiana's ability to shoot the ball. Yeah, Ben, what's one key for you? Yeah, well, Indiana's been cons inconsistent shooting the ball from three all season. To me, you, you got to keep Duke off the boards. I mean, they're one of the best rebounding teams in the entire nation. That's where Marvin Bagley and Wendell Carter Jr. really make their money. Uh, so, so you've really got to mitigate that advantage if you're Indiana. Juwan Morgan, Deron Davis, Freddie McSwain off the bench. They've got to do a really good job not just securing the rebounds, but boxing out, keeping Duke off the boards. Yeah, Duke's a very good rebounding team. It'll be tough with Bagley and Carter down low. Now, we've seen a lot of different players really step up night in and night out for the team for this young season. Who, in your opinion, is one player who you think will be key for them come Wednesday? Well, I think everybody wants to see Colin Hartman out there. And his six minutes against Eastern Michigan, can they turn that into more of a full game for Colin Hartman? I know Coach Miller said they're kind of taking it day by day with him. Colin said he's feeling great. Um, Jawan Morgan, really the front court in general. Just Wendell Carter and Bagley are both such tall presences inside that Indiana really can't match. Deron Davis is tall, but he doesn't have that quickness yet. So the front court for Indiana, can they guard Bagley and Carter down low? Yeah, and I'll highlight another one of those front court players. Freddie McSwain, I think, is a guy. He's got some, some quickness and some strength down low. He's only about 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, so he's going to be giving up some, some inches to those guys. But I think he's got most of the physical tools that you need as a defender to you know, maybe have a chance at containing a guy like Marvin Bagley um, just because of his lateral movement and his ability to get on the, on the boards. <laughs> so finally, guys, does Indiana have any chance to win against Duke Wednesday night? They do in the sense of obviously everybody has a chance. College basketball, there's so much parity, upsets happen. But because Duke played three games in four days over in Portland, now they come back, they get back probably early Monday morning, maybe Sunday night. They only have a couple days at, in North Carolina before they come here to Bloomington. So it's been a kind of a quick transition for Duke. They could be fatigued, who knows? They could be perfectly fine. But if there is an upset scenario for Indiana, I think it's here coming off of a busy PK-80 for Duke. And one thing that we saw in those three games they played at the PK-80 is, is Duke is a team that can fall behind early. I mean, they were down at halftime, I think, in all three of those games. Uh, they, it, it took some pretty strong second-half comebacks uh, in those games for them to eventually get the wins, which obviously they won all three games. But you know, maybe Indiana jumps out to an early lead, go into the halftime locker room with the lead, and you know, hope at some point Duke runs out of that second-half magic. It should be a good game. I'm excited to see it. What about you? Yeah, I'm excited. I think Indiana has a chance, <laughs> but it'll be really, really tough. Though. Yeah. Well, thank you again, Austin and Ben, for joining us on this edition of Cream Bee Crimson. Now, we send it over to Alex Emoff, who shows us this week ahead in IU Athletics on Fast Forward. 